the only one who created everything Allah is one he is the only one who created everything can you see the moon can you see the sun can you see the shining stars Allah made them all can you see the night can you see the day can you see the clouds high Allah made them all Allah is one he is the only one who created everything can you see the birds flying up so high can you see them in the sky Allah made them all Allah can hear me Allah can see me Allah can hear me Allah can see me wherever I am Allah is with me we must believe in faith Allah's divine faith whether it's good or bad we still believe it's faith we still believe it's faith everything in the universe is controlled by Allah everything in the universe is following Allah's faith Allah is one he is the only one who created everything Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Nabi al-Kareem Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Welcome again to the stories of the Prophets Peace be upon them all and we are at the last story before the story of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are with the story of the last prophet and messenger before our final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are with the story of Isa alayhi wa sallam. Jesus, be, peace be upon him. We have seen in the story of Isa alayhi wa sallam the miraculous birth of Isa. He was born without a father. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angel, Jibreel, the Holy Spirit. That's where the Christians went wrong. They thought the Holy Spirit was, was God or part of God or another God or three in one, whatever. He is only an angel named by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Holy Spirit or Jibreel, Gabriel. He came in a human form and blew into Maryam and she became pregnant while she was still virgin. She was pregnant and virgin at the same time. That is a miracle. Some people uh, question that, especially the Jews. And I wonder how would Christians become so close to the Jews while they accuse Mary of adultery. They refuse the prophethood or the, the greatness of Jesus saying that he is a liar. How could the Christians accept such people? While we Muslims... Even though that we say he is not God or the son of God, but we believe in the virgin birth of Mary and we believe also that Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him, is a great man, one of the greatest men ever lived. So we are clo closer to the Christians, much closer to the Christians than the Jews. So anyway, she delivered Isa alayhi salam. That was a miracle, a great miracle by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some question that miracle. But they also believe that there was a first human who had no father and no son. I mean, whatever you do, you must accept this fact that there must be a first human. Call him Adam, call him something else, up to you. But there must be a first human. How could we have a first human with no father and no mother and accept that while we reject the idea of a human with a mother but without a father? The miracle of Adam is much greater than the miracle of Jesus. Both great messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Adam had no father and no mother, while Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, had a mother without a father, which is a lesser miracle than the first one. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this in the Quran, in the Isa and Allah, kamathali Adam, khalaqahu min turab. If you think about the miracle of Jesus, then think about the miracle of Adam created from dust, from sand. That's a greater miracle. So that is the 
first miracle for Jesus عليه السلام, for Isa عليه السلام, that he was born without a father from Virgin Mary, Maryam عليه السلام. She was very sad because she will face accusations. She was afraid of these pending accusations that will come definitely. She was worried that when she faces her family and people that they will accuse her of adultery. But the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was very clear to her. When she was thirsty and hungry, she heard this voice from under her. Some say it was her son talking, some say Jibreel telling her, do not worry and do not be sad. Go and face your people. And if they ask you about this child, then tell them that you're fasting from talking. You're not going to talk and point to the child. Let him talk to them. She was surprised. What is this? But again, it's a miracle after another. So she submitted and she knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would protect her and take care of her. There was no more to fear. She just had to fast, including the abstinence from conversation with anyone. She cannot communicate, she cannot talk with anyone except with signs and gestures. So she traveled back, took her child with her in her arms, and they saw her. They asked her, is this your child? She said yes, but without talking, just by signs. She, they, they were surprised she's not married. And this is a saint. She is to, her, to them a great saint. Some are looking up to her as much as the Jews looked at, up to Harun, Aaron. Why not Musa alayhi salam? Because Musa was harsh on them, was very hard on them. Harun was the soft one and they loved Harun a lot. And he was, uh, he was a soft-hearted person and Mary was so. So they called her the sister of Harun because she was very similar to Harun. Some scholars say that she had a brother named Harun and that is also a, po a possibility. So they said to her, Oh, Maryam, truly you have brought an amazing thing. This is in the chapter of Maryam, Mary, chapter 19, verse number 27. The sight of Mary, Maryam, with a baby, completely surprised her people because she, they expected this from anyone but Maryam. So almost immediately, the negative accusations came forth and spread all over and everyone gathered around Maryam. Could it be Maryam, the saint, the great one that we looked up to? Could it be Maryam, anyone else but Maryam? She is so pure-hearted. She is so pure. She has no relation with anyone. She's always praying in her chamber. What happened? How could Maryam have adultery and have a child? Of course, Maryam had expected these accusations. So they, everyone gathered around her. The news spread like fire in the city and the whole city gathered around her and she was not talking. And of course, you know, with people shouting and calling and talking, so much noise. So somebody silenced them and said, Oh, sister of Harun, Ya Ukhta Harun, the sister of Aaron. When the Prophet ﷺ sent a messenger from Medina to the city of Najran to call them to Islam. Najran was a Christian city. And he read these verses to them. And they said to this messenger of the messenger of Allah, they said to him, how could you say that she is the sister of Harun while she lived centuries after Harun? And he didn't know. So he went back to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, they asked me this. He said, didn't you know that they called their themselves or their people they named themselves after their prophets there are many people called Harun not only the prophet Harun so that gives the possibility that she has uh, a brother and that is the interpretation of a lot of our scholars some say Ya Ukhta Harun a sister of Harun in character in purity in soft heartness so anyway 
They said, Oh, sister of Harun, your father was not a man of evil, and your mother was not, un was not uh, unchaste. She was pure. Maryam's father, Imran, was well known among his people. He was one of the chief rabbis in, in Jerusalem. Um, he, her mother was also a very righteous woman, God-fearing, very well known, a great family, very religious family, known to everyone. So it was said to her, how did you beget a baby while we know you are not lawfully married? They, they could not only, they could not, they could only think the unthinkable possibility and that should and that's reasonable because well, how could it happen they didn't th think about a, a miracle so they thought that that she had adultery this was of course prohibited and a great sin a, a, a grave sin in all religions not only Judaism but all religions prohibit adultery and considered it uh, as uh, one of the worst sins so she, she had a adultery and now she has a baby. That is something that to them was the worst that she can do. Their hearts were broken. The one that she, they look up to is not pure. This girl from this noble family have have done the unthinkable by having adultery and having shame on herself and on her noble family. But she kept quiet and they were angry. They're asking her and she is not answering until everyone was quiet, waiting for her to answer. And instead of answering, she pointed to the child and pointed, talk to the, to the child. They said, do you want us to talk to the child? Do you want the child to answer us? And she answered yes with her gestures and signs. And that was even stranger. But that is the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just point to the child, let him talk to them. So they understood her sign, but oh, totally يعني, surprised. What, what is she saying? What, is, what does she want? They said, how can we talk to a, a one who is a child in a cradle? And now comes another miracle. Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, peace be upon him, said, I am indeed a servant of Allah. Now, people were talking, so everyone quieted each other. Listen, the child is talking. And everyone was quiet, paying attention. And he said, Inni Abdullah. That's the first thing he said. I am the slave, I am the servant of Allah. The first thing Jesus السلام, said was that he is not God, he is not the son of God, he is a servant, he is a slave of God. And then he continued, he has given me revelation and made me a prophet. Now this is a child, just born. But that is a great miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can do anything, subhana. A child. Very a few days old only, now talking, and everyone listens. What does he say? I am a slave, I'm a servant of Allah, I'm not God. Allah has given me revelation, given me the scriptures. Atani al kitab, wajalani nabiya, made me a prophet. Wajalani mubarakan aynama kuntu. He has blessed me wherever I go and has enjoined on me prayer and charity as long as I live. He has me, made me kind to my mother and not overbearing 
or miserable. So peace be upon me on the day I was born and the day I shall die and the day I shall be raised up to life again. This is chapter Mary, Maryam, chapter 19, verses 30 to 33. So the baby boy has spoken. He was barely a few days old, but he had uttered this, those words in perfect sentences that were comprehended, understood by everyone who was present. They saw the miracle and they saw that Maryam was pure and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent them a new messenger, a new prophet. Now, at that time, of course, Zachariah was their prophet and Yahya was born already three months old, but he was not a prophet yet. So, Jesus السلام, became a prophet before Yahya, but he continued to live after Yahya. So he is the last prophet to live before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So he spoke with a very clear voice, very clear words, and people realized that this baby boy was a new miracle sent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Such was Isa, Jesus, the son of Mary. It is a statement of truth. This is what happened. He was not God. He was not the son of God. This is the statement of, of truth about which they vainly disputed. Later on, Christianity went astray. Few centuries after Jesus, they added to the scriptures few words that would say that he is God. But none of them, if you go to the Bible itself, you will not see Jesus saying that I am the Son of God. You will see others saying that he is the Son of God. Others who wrote later on and changed the, the, the Bible later on. But he never said, I am the Son of God. Yes, he has said, we are the children of God, meaning that God provides for us. And this is also said by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi The word Iyal, people are Iyalullah. The word Iyal has two meanings. It means children, but it means dependence. So apparently they translated dependent as children. He never said, I am a child of God. He never said, I am the son of God. So it, 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 it does not fit the greatness of his majesty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to get a son. And if they prove it to us, this is in the Quran. قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ لِلْرَّحْمَانِ وَلَدِ فَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْعَابِدِينَ If God had a son, glory to him, if God had a son, then I would, Muhammad says, I would be the first to worship that son. But prove it. The only proof that they have is the Bible. And the Bible has so many min miscon uh, misconceptions, contradictions in, in the Bible. So this is something that cannot be proven. There are 66 versions of the Bible, different versions. And we see the words that say that Jesus is the Son of God, only written years, centuries after Isa alayhi salam. So, that was the start of Isa alayhi salam, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him as a miracle. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Isa said, Verily, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. Therefore, worship him. This is a way that is straight. And this is among the first sentences that Isa alayhi salam has spoken. So, he's, he has spoken as a child very early on and emphasized that he is not God. He is a servant. He is a slave of God. And he has emphasized that 
he is a miracle and he has been given revelation to become a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will be a blessed one wherever he goes. He will be a nice and good to his mother, stating that he didn't say my parents like Yahya said. He said my mother because he has only one parent and that is his miracle. And then he said to them, worship Allah alone and that is the straight path. So that is the first time they hear Isa alayhi salam. A baby born giving a lecture stating to them who is he and how he is a servant to Allah and what should they do to become servants of Allah by worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Now Jesus lives among them and other miracles come forward and then the accusations and deviation from the truth starts among the Jews and that is our story next time inshallah barakallahu feekum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh